Hello, I am Alok. So today I will discuss links in HTML. So links in HTML, links we can, element name is EA, is the stand for the anchor tag. Okay, and to anchor tag there are the syntax is angle bracket, angle bracket, then again the A, a space href equal to then you can put for the again the destination destination means what you want to open so here again in this example you see these are the destinations right then you can double close we have to close the destinations link then angle bracket close it then again you can write the label label means after looking that label only person can identify oh once i'll click this one i'll get something okay so central park is heading label and then again slash closing of the anchor tag so angle bracket slash a we can close so syntax is again very simple not much complicated so uh, label again either you can write as a text otherwise as an image also you can write means some image you can click then some other thing will open so you can see here in this example again image src equal to the logo dot gif okay so this will display as a image different type of the again the links are there so with the help of the links we can open the external websites and including uh, take example if you want to open the canra engine college dot in website in your page itself so canra engine college dot in that is your destinations okay so that also we can open with the help of the link sometime in the some particular website you want to use only the certain resource take example for the youtube only if you want to open the some video so youtube.com is there and again the video again the some certain ids and there are some certain links are there so that again slash we have to put that certain id it will come not only for video image audio anything so we can link to the your websites same thing way again another thing is there if you want to link to the another page of your current website generally website is the more than one pages are there so one page to another page if you want to connect then again we can go for the link another place in your current page again suppose that if you want to go to the top otherwise bottom in your page so with the help of the division id we can use not division id any id we can apply in that particular elements and then we can go here and there and particular location of the another page means here another page some certain location if you want to open that also we can do with the help of the links and another thing if you want to send a mail to the somebody okay so with the help of the link link again here again mail to that is again the function is there with the help of that one we can send the mail and uh, any javascript program also we can run with the help of the link here we can see again the lot of the different example based upon that type of the links so first things again this is for the external websites okay that we link at the place of the destination whatever the syntax just now i told now ahrf equal to then you put that complete link only and this is the your label same way in this link again if you want to open the one image so you can put again the slash logo dot gif this is again different links which are available in your page that also we can open home again generally index we are writing so index.html once you can click on home so this page will open and here you can see has stop so this top is again the nothing this that is the id of the some elements so anybody will click on the go to the top of the documents then that particular id of that element will open same way file name has and then id then the that file name that id that location will open and this is again the mail to the whatever you are writing the mail that mail will come again the to either the using the more i look otherwise whatever this uh, this one uh, uh, any again the uh, otherwise in the html also it will direct again the uh, this mail if you are adding that mail will go to that mail id then again we have to write the mail server again the concept here not only the with the help of the this line this line only it will goes to the outlook generally it is opening in the windows in the outlook and another things again it will open the another thing is again any javascript function you can also run with the help of the links and uh, 
sometime if you want to call to the some number otherwise toll free number that is also possible with the help of the link okay and one more thing generally what is happening person they are writing again in the label click here person they are writing in the label click here so whenever they will write the click here and then writing the some text so that is not good way because the link means again the somebody should click here only okay so that's why don't try to click here to see the that, that example you see click here to see the race result not required only the race result thereby see this result like that one whenever if you want to use don't try to click here some certain contents only you can write a person can after looking or label they can think oh after click this link i can see some that contents okay and uh, whenever you are writing the that uh, destination as a url okay so that is the two type one is called the absolute referencing means you have to write the complete url along with the http colon double slash and then you can write the complete domain name and all of the path we have to write another thing is called again the relative reference so relative again means suppose that your file and the another linking file is also in the same folder then you write only the file name if the file is in the some other folder then we have to write the only the path name not required again http and other things okay and here again there are the two things is important one is the forward slash another is called it double periods whenever you are write double periods you can say there by double dots you can say so forward slash to uh, that particular folder to finding the any particular file and double dots means you can go again the previous again any folders okay that i also in the example again so here you see first one is again the same directory so ahrf same file name example.html and again the whatever the file you are creating that is also in the same folder so you can write again the nothing nothing required here only the file name.html only and another thing to see is child directory child directory means inside the one folder you have a some certain image video and audio so see here inside the image folder you are getting the some image logo dot gif so we are writing like this again third one is called the grandchild directory grandchild directory means here again inside the one folder again one more folder then again your contents are there then take example here css slash image css is again one directory inside that one again image is one directory and inside that one again one image file is there coming back to the here again the parent dad. parent means what happened you have to go back again so dot dot you can put again it is coming outside of the folder again the two time if you want to go come to the outside of the folder then you can see this example here again the dot dot slash again dot dot slash okay so here keep one point in your mind one dot another dot no space and again slash also no space so in that way only you can use the relative referencing okay then again coming to here again this is again the same like again the whatever we discussed just now so now we will see again the one example okay then your concept will be clear so for example purpose again you open the notepad so i am opening the one notepad here so in that notepad again you write the code this is the basic code only for html5 i'm writing here anchor tag demo then after the head we can start the body and then again you can give the one uh, heading kind of the things to identify the programs align equal to i'm putting in the center for your display purpose anchor tag programs now close h1 now coming here then come to the syntax a h r e f equal to double quote now you see here what name i put here in the last time test my page so i'll give here test my page dot this is the last video i did this program simple program only so this i am linking so my previous program my previous class i will put like this this is the label only then close again the anchor tag right then closing of the body closing of the html 
so what i will do i'll create one folder in the desktop uh, just one minute i am creating the one folder in the desktop new folder a n c h o r anchor i put folder name now whatever the program i did just now this program i'll save inside that folder only then you'll get better idea so desktop anchor folder giving the file name a n c h dot html i'll put right then my best practice double quote again no chance of the uh, this one dot txt then open the anchor folder now only one file you see yes so this is this side is coming just small code again i'll change i'll make the this also in the center so you can write center and we have to close here center this is again one of the element in the html to make anything in the center opening and the closing along with the center save it coming here yes so this link came so you see here hand symbol is coming so anybody know hand symbol means i have to click that's why not like click my previous class only my previous class so once i'll click see getting file not found why file is not founding because i put here because i put here again that this is the name okay and this file is not available in that folder that's why we are not getting so what we have to do you can put here dot dot slash i came outside of the folder then the file is there so you see here coming back then again the yes refresh now click came now okay so nothing i change i put again the dot dot slash double dot slash then it went to the outside of the folder suppose that file is inside the folder then if this not required control s and then what we have to do you minimize this one and this file i'll put inside there again now see file is inside two files are inside the same folder now so in that case again you open coming back refresh the page now i refresh the page now you click coming okay so i think you got the idea how to use the link from one page to another page another page to this page one more things i want to say here uh, here so many tabs uh, attributes are also there but one attributes i want to say you can use the target t a r g t target equal to underscore blank right so this output will come in the new tab this this part i added extra target one attributes and we give the value blank target again there are the four value parent is there blank is there and two more are there but blank is more popular and by default it is the uh, parent only so coming here refresh page now see i click this one you open in the new tab only one tab is already there this tab is there again you can click it is opening in the new tab so such kind of the things is good whenever you are opening the pdf and other things because you have to keep your link and then we have to open the doc file pdf file and the video file that is a good practice purpose so in that case we can use the target equal to underscore blank so i think you got this idea about the anchor tag okay now the coming to the another things like this only this all thing all this thing is called the inline text element only so anchor tag is already over br i already discussed in the last class for the next line and em for the embedding okay and a strong means you can make the uh, font little bit strong i will show you the example again you can see in this example only uh, i put here again inside the center only i will use then is the easy for you to see center i will use again here e m okay c e c and close e m just little bit font will change right and one more i'll use a strong c s e department so now you see the difference here then. now you can control s coming here 
this is the our page only na c c e c u c i'll put again here the next line then we can see just now i discussed na br so br what is happening you can write the opening and the closing tag here itself and same way i'll put here again the br h1 and the paragraph automatic it is coming to the next line but em and strong these are the inline uh, elements so, okay so it will not go for the next line right coming here refresh the pc now you see em italic i cannot say italic but the, that is called embedding okay another thing is the csc strong means little bit bold not but not like our h1 and h2 got it so these these are the things comes under for the inline like around the 30 elements are there but out of this one anchor tag is very popular br is the popular and em is the popular and the strong is also the popular so hope you got the again the idea up to this much so next class again i will discuss more about the other things okay so thanks for your patience